Hello everybody, I am Alpaca Patrol and this is FTL Faster Than Light, that's right! I'm back with some more FTL because this game is a, a badass town USA. By the way, uh, since Dennis was over, if you guys are watching the uh, Isaac Let's Play, then you know that Dennis has been over at my house. Uh, we He was playing a lot on the, uh, the Taurus-class ship, which is the NG vessel, uh, and we actually unlocked the Type B cruiser, which required two out of the three achievements, one of which being have three drones functioning at the same time, and destroy enemy ship using only drones. It's probably the easiest achievements that I've found, because these ones are like, have six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously, which is reasonably difficult, because you have to get a spe uh, specific quest uh, for, for one of the races. Have every subsystem and system installed on the Kestrel cruiser at one time, equally difficult, and as a Kestrel cruiser, repair it back to full health when it only has one HP remaining. That shit, I think, is impossible, uh, to be honest with you. Because it would require, I mean, like, that would just be like an accidental type of thing. So anyway, um, we're really not going to try to do that. We can try to do that, but it'll be rough. So uh, let's name our ship this time, the USS Poop, Poop, and wait, no, here we go. Poop, can I get a, can I get an apostrophe? No, I can't. Okay, so Poop and Farts. There we go. The USS Poop and Farts. It's fantastic. Steven is our captain, Joel, and Nicola. I think that, or Nicola, I think that sounds pretty good to me. Let's jump in with the USS Poop and Farts. Boarding. If you're having trouble with the boarders, fight within the med bay. Fall. Oh, hey, we figured that out already. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, by the way, I I'm getting a bit self-conscious about how long these videos can be, which is also why I'm like I play a little bit looser when I get to the uh, later things. So um, I I think what I'm gonna do is. Uh, is when uh, when shiz gets serious and seriously long in fact uh, I, I may just cut the video in between you know uh, if, if it goes on so anyway sorry uh, we shall get back to the uh, game you receive requests all of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion however there are been there have been reports of mantis war camp oh boy can you help all right let's do it let's get to that quest marker we are playing as the Kestrel. Um, wow, that quest is reasonably far away. In fact, we have to traverse a uh, nebula, which kind of sucks, but it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and jump on in here. Oh, God. You'll get the source of a distress call nearby human mining colony, an unknown disease. Eek. Uh, do I want to risk a crew member? Let's do it. Okay, they barely get away without injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leaders. Wow, that sucks, man. Uh, so let's get Joel on weapons, because I think Joel is a good weapons guy name. Uh, and let's 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 uh, figure out how we're gonna deal with our stuff here. Yeah, that's good. We can just keep the pet the, the med bay powered down. We keep the engines on so that uh, we get higher evade chance, because as you can see, we lower our our engines and we lower our evade chance by five percent. So anyway, um. Well, let's keep moving here. Uh, we're gonna try to get to like every, almost every location on the map because that's how you deal with stuff. Large asteroid field. Short range scanners may discover useful materials. All right, let's do it. Booyah, we got drone parts and scrap, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I was looking for. I mean, you know, it's not exactly what I was looking for. I was exactly looking for perhaps a weapon. Mm, no. They wanted to, the black market station wanted uh, to sell me, or wanted me to sell five missiles, 15 scrap. While that may be about the right price, it's not exactly what I want to deal with. All right. They want me, these bastards, these energy bomber bastards, want me to pay their toll. We will reject their offer uh, and just fire at them. Now, I'm not going to fire the Artemis. Now, the reasoning behind this is because uh, green uh, Zoltan shields actually... Oh, boy, that's going to hit. Uh, green Zoltan shields actually stop missiles. So, we'll fire the Artemis as soon as it's up. Oh, boy, that's going to do some damage. Okay, that's actually just an ion bomb, which isn't going to do any hull damage necessarily. So, I'm okay with that. Okay, now we can fire the Artemis right at their shields. And turn off the Artemis. Okay, shields are down. Keep the burst laser going. Their little blaster gun is not going to be doing too much to us. Hopefully this ion bomb 
Oh god, it's powering up its FTL drive. That's fine. Uh, one more fire of our uh, burst laser, Mark II. Should be able to take them out, hopefully at least. I mean, as long as their shields remain down, which they do. Boom. Eat it, energy bomber. You can eat my balls. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm again, I'm totally new because the game is obviously just come out. I think it just came out. Um, so you can pick it up on Steam for $10, by the way. Without functioning... Okay, luckily there's nothing in this nebula to deal with. But let's get towards this quest. Because I fear for my crew's safety. Uh, well, I guess we could choose one or the other. I forgot what our quest even was. Small rebel ship, it does not seem like it's it's been refitted for transport rather than combat. Let's demand the surrender of their goods. Okay. They're trying to escape. Okay, Artemis. Hit their engines, burst laser, hit their shields. I think we should be safe here. Our O2 supply was actually still under fire from that, uh... Okay. Their engines are down. And we can fire the burst laser at their, at their engines so that they can't escape. Because their shields are still down. So we're forcing them to repair there. Uh, so now that we've knocked out their engines, it's not a big deal. Oh, OT supplies down. We'll deal with that after the ship because we still have a uh, 95% whatnot. Yeah, here we go. Let's get Joel out to repair our oxygen supply so that we don't, you know, suffocate to death. That would be nice. Uh, I would like to get to that distress beacon. Maybe we can do it, maybe we can't. But uh, Joel should be doing a good job of repairing. You can actually see the repair bar here. How long it's taking to repair, at least. Um, hopefully, by the way, you can hear my voice over the music better. Uh, it, it turns out that I didn't actually change the sound of the game. I didn't lower the sound of the game last time. So my apologies. Uh, that won't be an issue in the future. You find Mantis encampment, but there are too, far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately there's not much you can do. It'd be suicide to attack directly. Well, fuck it. We're going to use one missile. Oh, God. Rips the missiles to shred. They must have a planetary defense system. That kind of sucks. Uh, and we're going to be dealing with intruders here. So what we're going to do then is fire the Artemis at their weapons. Because we want to take down their weapons so we don't have to deal with them ourselves. And let's send... Uh, it's only one guy, so that's not a big issue here. Artemis should hit... Weapons are down. Uh, we can turn off the Artemis here for a moment and fire at their shields. Here's a little trick I, I made. Okay, cool. So, if they try to power up their crew teleporter again, then, uh, then we can, we can heal up, uh, Nicola, if it's necessary. But I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Burst laser should take him out right now. Fantastic. Let's, uh, power down our engines, power up the med bay. Get Nicola healed up, which is nice. This uh, this sector has gone pretty well for us right now, so um, we didn't get any good upgrades, really, and we didn't get that much scrap, but uh, it, it's certainly not bad. Let's see. Do you think we can make the Distress Beacon? I think we can make the Distress Beacon. Let's jump. Let's do it. We don't have a lot of fuel, either, which actually is a bit of an issue. Uh, let's aid the civilian ship. Okay. Um, let's see here. They only have lasers, so you know what? Oh, God, I don't know if those are burst lasers, though. So those are burst lasers, and they can mess us up pretty bad. Let's just get the burst laser working on the uh, on the shields. Let's see what happens here. If worse comes to worse, we can always fire the Artemis. Okay, it's only hull lasers. Which can be an issue. Okay, could. Uh, let's just get the burst laser firing on their weapon system. They should get another shot off, which is going to do some good hull damage. Oh, good, they missed. Okay, so hopefully, because their shields are down, and also, uh, this ship cannot repair. Okay, we've, uh, we've got them pretty, pretty good here. But just to make sure, we'll hit their engine system so that, uh, they cannot escape were they to wish to. And we'll get, uh, Nicola repairing the doors. The ship wisely made a fast retreat while you distracted the hostile ship. What a jerk! We're gonna... We're gonna be friends, man. We're gonna be pals. They didn't want to be pals, evidently. Not a big deal, though. Um, doors are up. We can jump. 
to the distress beacon and make it just in time to the exit, probably. So I think we did, as far as utility is concerned. Hmm. Okay, we could dislodge the pirates from because they're crushed between two large rocks. <sighs> Let's try to dislodge them. Okay. Yeah, they pull free and give us some missiles and scrap. Thank you, pirates. See, pirates, they're not so bad. They're just, you know, they're into rum and uh, loose women and all that kind of nonsense. But, you know, other than that, they're not so bad. Oh. Take this schematic. It's all we can do to help. So, uh, Federation sympathizers were on that station. And we got nine scrap and a system repair drone. Which, um, basically, to us... Mm, yeah, we can't make that last jump. Uh, basically, to us, is like a... Uh, is free money. Now, I think I'm gonna go... Oh, God. Do I really want to go... See, the thing is, you want to go to the rebel sectors, the hostile sectors, because you get better loot that way. But I think we're gonna go to the civilian sector first. Hmm. Now, we're going, we're going all the way. We're gonna get the better loot, man. I think that's the best idea. We we don't we don't care here on the USS uh, poop pooping butts. Uh, we we get we get stuff done, and that's how we deal with it. Actually, I should have jumped directly to ooh, holy crap! A weapon is just floating in space. I agree, that is a holy crap moment. That's pretty cool. The whole laser fires two lasers, one damage and two damage in systemless rooms. That's pretty good. Uh, in fact, so good, I may even upgrade my weapon system to uh, get the whole laser to be able to fire in conjunction with the burst laser, so I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, however, I'm going to need one more power bar, so we're going to do that as well. Now, we are also going to need uh, shield soon. I can upgrade it for 50. Let's do it. And we're gonna save up for uh, we're gonna save up for a couple things. We need fuel pretty badly uh, because this is gonna be an issue fairly soon. Okay, intruder on deck. The young mantis in charred universe teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. You know what? I'd rather have a prisoner. I mean, uh, fugitive. You know what I mean. Okay, but what we are definitely going to do is we're going to get the Artemis firing at their, uh... Oh, no we're not going to get the Artemis firing because their drone apparently... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I actually did mean to do that because we want the whole laser online. Um, anyway. Yeah, we want the Artemis firing, uh, but the thing is that defense drone knocks down missiles, so uh, we don't want to do that. So, anyway, let's get the burst laser firing on their shields. And let's get the whole laser firing there. And the Artemis is down, so uh, we don't really have to worry about that third one. It looks like they have a beam weapon here, as far as I can tell. I'm not, I'm not totally certain on how all the things look yet. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue, actually. Uh, let's get the whole laser put here. Yeah, we don't have enough room in the... in the whatchamacallit. Let's get the Mantis dude, who is named Marcus. That's a badass name. Uh, to get our, our whole laser back online. By the way, you put the, uh, priorities... Okay, whole laser back up. Uh, whole laser does more damage in systemless rooms, by the way, which is why we're firing it there. And their beam weapon can actually penetrate our, our shields. It seems like it's probably like a pike beam or something like that. So basically they have to time it perfectly so that, uh, it hits when our shields are down. I only know this because, uh, yeah, look at how much damage that whole laser does when it, when it hits a systemless room. Wow, and we got a defense drone. That's badass. Uh, let's jump to the distress beacon. We are trying to get kind of to the exit faster than, uh, whatever. Okay, smoldering Engi research station. It's a distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. Ah, <sighs> we could lose a crew member if we do this, but I'm going to do it. You send away, but there is... Acidic stench of burnt NG parts. The place is dead. Okay, that was that was dangerous, man. Um, and we're gonna try to just get to the exit because we don't seem to be encountering a store here, even though we are in a civilian sector, which should have a higher chance of a store. NG construction yard maintain their bipedal appearance out of habit, but here you see a number of NG hives working together to create massive organic machines, adept at building ships. Truly really a sight to behold. That's pretty interesting. 
Um, we gotta keep jumping to the exit, really. Okay, this is a fight. Oh god, they have drones. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna power down the whole laser, we're gonna get the Artemis online, and we are going to hit their... We're gonna hit their drone section, and what we're gonna do right now, because they could do a butt-ton of damage to us, is we're gonna power down our engines, which will lower our evasion, but it'll put shields up. Um, and that's what we want here. We definitely want shields. Oh, and we gotta get the burst laser firing at something. So let's get it firing at their weapon. Actually, you know what? Let's get it firing at their weapons. <laughs> I was I was in inconclusive in my decision there, but I will actually uh, put Marcus in the. Uh, okay, cool. We can, we can power down the Artemis. Power up the whole laser. No, we can't power up the whole laser. Well, we don't need oxygen for a while, right? I mean, like, who needs oxygen? So we'll get the whole laser firing at their. Uh, what should we call it? Oh, their shields are not even down. Whoops, Daisy. But the drones are down, so uh, we should be pretty safe here. We do have a lot of oxygen, so we don't really have to worry too much right now. Okay, shields are down. Hull lasers should fire. Hmm. Okay, so we can either kill them right now or get three missiles. I mean, three fuel, four missiles. You know what? I'm going to take that because... Uh, you know, danger zone imminent here. And what I will do... Wait, before I do that... Is there a store anywhere? Jesus, that's really bad. Okay, we're gonna have to... Upgrade our power bars here. Which is gonna cost a lot, but you know what? The extra layer of shields is gonna be really, really useful. You know, because our fuel is so low, I think we just have to get to the exit. Even though I'd love to explore more, I could maybe stand to explore one more. I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm just going to jump to the exit. Who knows? Maybe there's something there. Okay, sell three drone parts for 12 scrap. That is definitely worth it because I'm not using drone parts. Oh, there's a distress beacon too. Mm, that would take us down to four when we leave, right? Because like one, two, three to leave. That take us down to three. We can't do it. We honestly can't do it. Let's get to the pirate sector. We really need a store. That was really unlucky that we did not find one on the way. Under control of pirates. Uh-oh. Danger zone. Um, let's go this way because we want to kind of avoid that nebula. Nebulas aren't very fun. Oh, fuck that. The slavers want to take one of our crew members. We don't We don't abide that shit on the, on the pooping butts. Uh, so let's get whole laser. Let's get everything firing at this... Uh, at this gosh darn shizba uh, at the drone control because we don't want to deal with this drone at all. Okay, that's going to hit our oxygen system which we will get what's his face to go deal with. He's got a low uh, repair time but, you know, again, the oxygen is not vital right now. It can turn out to be vital. And, you know, we'll let the hull laser fire again. Okay, drone control seems to be offline. Um, and we can get the burst laser firing there. And get the whole laser firing at the uh, drone control. Okay, that's good. Their shields do appear down. Where did that hit? Oh, shit! Alright, you gotta get out. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Yes! They will offer us a slave! We will take their slave. Oh, good, and he's an NG, so he could get right on over to that O2 supply. We didn't even have to use, we didn't even have to use uh, missiles there, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, let's get what's his face down to the med bay so they could heal up a bit. Meanwhile, Maxwell, he's gonna be chilling right there, which is very nice of him to do. However, I'm gonna keep him in the weapons bay because uh, we, if our shields go down, or if our uh, whatever goes down rather. Our uh, weapons, we kind of need... Oh, God, finally a store. It doesn't look like we have much right now, but we have a lot of stuff to sell, so... Uh, burst laser mark one. How much does that require? Two power. S-bomb is pretty good. That does uh, damage to... Uh, whatchamacallit. So let's sell all of this, because we don't need any of its nonsense. Um, S-bomb only does damage to systems, not hull. So... Uh, 
it, it's it's good. I mean, it does it does personnel damage too, but I don't think we're gonna need it right now. What we really need is fuel. We didn't really get much of that at all, to be honest with you. It's too bad we can't like sell anything here. I suppose we could stand to get another crew member. However, with five, I mean, there's not too much else. There's nothing else that we really need to be manned. Uh, that would get a bonus. We would just be getting, like, either fighters or whatever. So I don't think that's definitely a, a good idea, necessarily. Uh, we have a lot of missiles, which is good. You know what? We, we're not going to buy anything else because, uh, I mean, let me just make sure. Yeah, there's nothing at the store that I really want. But there is stuff in the ship that I do want. Like, for instance, sensors would be good. Blast doors would be better. So I'm going to get blast doors. Oopsie daisy. And uh, let's see what else can we get here. More system power for weapons. Ah, you know, that would be reasonably important. It honestly just wouldn't hurt to keep building shields at this point. Uh, but I don't think I want to do anything yet, so... We're just going to keep jumping. And we honestly have to keep jumping to the exit again, because we don't have any goddamn fuel. Which is really bad! But, I mean, that's the nature of these roguelikes. Uh, oh boy. Chased by a pirate. Here we go. Oh, God. You know what? We're going to power down the hull laser, we're going to power up the Artemis, and we are going to hit their weapons control. Because, uh... It looks like they have some powerful weapons, and that will tear right through our shields and do a bunch of damage. So, we're going to need to deal with that first. And with only one shield, like, we're not really going to have to worry about that too much. Okay, weapons are kind of down. They're not fully down, so we're going to fire another Artemis missile at it. And then we could... Oh, okay, good, it's on fire, actually. Uh, so let's fire the Artemis then at their shields, and then after that we can power it down. Charge up the whole laser, get that blasting right there. Uh, and Burst Laser could keep firing at their shield system. And they're basically neutered here. There's not much that they could do. Wow, we started a fire there too. That's that's pretty lucky actually. Hull laser didn't even have to hit. We are uh, reasonably powerful here, and the uh, the the civilian actually uh, gave us some stuff, which is very nice of him. Oh God, I would love to go there. But then that would take us down to two fuel. We honestly just can't do that. I mean, we're just going to take us down to three fuel, which is still pretty bad. Oh, God. Okay, intervene to defend the outpost. We kind of have to. Okay, so they have drones, and they are attack drones. That's an issue. Okay, so the Artemis is going to have to deal with that. Meanwhile, the burst laser is going to have to deal with the shields. At least do as much damage to the shields as possible. Although, you know what? We're going to get the burst laser firing at the... Uh, and that she is, because I think that's going to be what we need. That beam weapon could really be very dangerous. Because if it hits right on target, then shit gets really bad. And that beam drone is pretty rough too. It basically starts fires, and we don't really want to deal with any of that nonsense. Okay. Those are down, and we can get the Artemis firing. One more rocket at the shield system, and then we could just deal with them. Remember, they can't repair, so, uh, you know, we don't really have to worry too much. Okay, shields are basically down. We could power down the Artemis, power up the whole laser, and hit their weapon system. Because their shields are down, too. And, uh, they can't penetrate our shields, either, so we're pretty much safe here. Cool, we got some more fuel as well, which is good, but we still are going to have to jump to the next sector. Okay, rock controlled sector. This is good. The reason that this is good is um, rocks have a quest. I'm not saying that we're going to get the quest, but I am saying that they do have a quest. God, we don't even have enough fuel to get there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what do you think has a higher chance of getting us a shop? This way or this way? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, good. Asteroid field. Good choice, Rob. Oh, rock freighter lost in the asteroid field. Our coordinates let us here, but only death greets us. What must... 
be must be death to all okay great yeah so basically their idea is if we're going down you're going down which is kind of dickish if you ask me but uh you know whatever um and it does appear that that uh even though they have three shields their weapons Unless that's a burst laser, which it may- yeah, actually it is a burst laser, so that's gonna take down our shields, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, weapons are down. Luckily we have enough to fire the Artemis when weapons are down, just one slot. Okay, shields are down, we can power down the Artemis, power up the whole laser, get that fire in here, and burst laser their weapons so that we don't have to worry about too much. They should actually offer a surrender, because they often do. In, uh, in these areas. With their shields down, they're pretty much going to be constantly taking damage. Whole laser should take them out. I'm surprised they didn't... Uh... Okay, cool. We got some fuel, too. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't, like, you know, ask to die. Okay, store. Fantastic. As much as I'd love to spend my money on upgrades... Oh... The Hermes is good, but it requires three power, so I'm not going to deal with that. The the Artemis is actually doing a pretty good job, and we haven't had to use it too terribly much. A crew teleporter would not be a bad idea. Um, apparently, it's very effective on the final boss, but uh, don't take my word for that. I don't think I've even gotten to the final boss in normal mode. I may have. I could be totally wrong, though. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Crew teleporter or drone control? Well, we don't want drone control. There's nothing we can sell, nothing we can sell. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Let's see what our, our ship's looking like. It would cost 100. We could get level 3 shields. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it. It would leave us with 10, which is close enough for yeah, man. Level 3 shields, that's going to be pretty darn powerful. And, uh, and we can fix all, too. So, we could have got the crew teleporter, which would have been interesting, but we really don't have crew... I mean, we have uh, one Mantis, which are very good at fighting. Uh, but we don't really have too many people that we want to send off. If we had one more crew member, I would have I would have considered that as an option. Let's get to this distress beacon, because we haven't been able to explore too much. Hmm. Our shields are down in an asteroid belt. Eh, we're going to lose some. But we got three fuel, so that is honestly well worth it in my books. Uh, I've, I've been starting to write a book on FTL. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, they charge their weapons, which seem many and quite numerous. Uh, oh, man. I have to consider our options here. We're going to want to take them out as quickly as possible because these solar flares are going to fuck my day up. So, let's power down the whole laser. Let's get the Artemis firing at their shields. Let's get the burst laser firing at their shields as well. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, why don't you power the whole laser because it does more damage than the burst laser? Well, that's a good idea, nameless uh, viewer. However, um, the issue with that plan is... Uh, uh, the whole laser only fires two shots, and we require a shot to get through shields, so... God, we are missing with our Artemis. Uh, here we go. Oh, come on! That is unfair! Oh, God, and our door system is down, too. Shit. Alright. New strategy. We are jumping the fuck out of here. Um... We're going to get our Engie crew member there, we're going to get him in here, and we're going to try to suffocate this flame. Uh, we can suffocate this flame. Hopefully our Engie crew member, or NG crew member, can deal with that. We need him over here, because we honestly need this shit to go out. Artemis about to fire. That. Okay, Artemis is, is good. Let's power it down, whole laser the shit out of them, and hit their weapon system. Okay, we have almost suffocated the flame. Maxwell is near death. 
which isn't good, but he's gonna repair our door system, which is nice. Oh, tits! Shit, shields are down too. Alright, this is dangerous. And our doors are down, so I can't even suffocate that fire, which is a bit of an issue. Okay, we're gonna jump the balls out of here. Basically, we're gonna try our best to... We're gonna try our best to try to put out these fires before we leave, but if a solar flare comes, we are booking it. Oh, Jesus, that's gonna take out our shields. Okay, let's get you two up in there. Power down the whole laser. Power that up. We can at least heal people up before we get out of here. And get these two working on this. Okay, we gotta piece it. It's not the most optimum uh, of uh, strategies here. Oh, god damn it. Okay, no, we don't even have to fight him. Uh, we can hire a mercenary to scout the sector or delay the rebels, but we really don't need to do either of those things because we honestly can't really explore too much with the seven fuel, so uh, we have no need of his services, and we can actually spend this time somewhat leisurely uh, trying to get our crew back to full stuff here. Everybody's kind of damaged. So we can heal everybody up. Cool, let's get Joel back on weapons. Let's get Nicola back on shields. What about Maxwell? Maxwell's doing fine. Marcus is fine too. Okay, so let's get him back in the weapons bay. Turn off the med bay. Power up the whole laser for the next jump here. And try to get moving. Oh, whoa, it's the same thing. Okay, yeah, we have no need of his services, and we do not want to pick that fight in truth, so we're just gonna jump. Rebel or Slug? Yeah, we don't want to go to Slug Nebula. That sounds like a bad idea to me. If any ideas sounded bad, that's a bad one. Okay, so Rebels are in this sector. We are definitely going to the store, because we could potentially um, sell off a weapon here. Automated Reloader would be good. Damn it, we have not found any weapons. <sighs> I mean, that's doable. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna have to live with this and repair, get some fuel so that we can keep moving here. Uh, we could get the automated reloader, which would lower our cooldown. And in fact, I think we may do so because it doesn't require any uh, money. I long range scanners would actually be pretty useful considering our current position here, our current predicament, not knowing where the shops are, but I think automated reloader, yeah, let's do automated reloader, even engaging in combat pretty frequently here, so, uh, mm, that's a bit of a bummer. We are going to have to cross through a nebula, a lot of nebula it seems, which kind of sucks. We're jumping to the store because, yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. Exactly three more fuel. They have only drones to sell. Uh, by the way, um, I may I may do uh, the next one on the NG ship because uh, the drone stuff is pretty cool. Like that one stops missiles from firing and lasers actually, which is pretty good. Uh, that shoots at the enemy ship and that's a beam weapon that shoots at the enemy ship, which is pretty powerful because it starts fires. Cloaking allows us to cloak. Um, which kind of just lets us charge up and increases our evasion by 60%. So if you see a missile incoming, pop the cloaking, there you go. Crew teleporter lets us go onto the ship and draw control. Uh, but we don't really need any of those things, so let's get jumping. And again, we don't have much fuel, so we're going to have to get through this quickly. Okay. Oh, God! Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to get these guys going in here. We're gonna get him up in this piece. We're gonna get him up in this piece. Do we have blast doors? We do have blast doors, okay. So here's here's the best strategy that I have found here. Open all the doors. Drain their oxygen. Uh, I suppose we could drain the oxygen here as well. And get everybody moving on in this way. Oops-a-daisy. You definitely need to come in here. 
my butt, as it's known. Uh, we are definitely going to power down shields, because that doesn't really matter, and power up the med bay. Because basically what we've done here is we've effectively forced them... oops a daisy We've effectively forced them into a battle here. Which is a battle that we can win. When we get these two guys in here, just in case shit gets serious. Cool! And now we can close all the doors, and uh... Things will go back to normal here. Really. Uh, so let's get Stevie back on the piloting controls. Maxwell back on weapons. Nicola on the shields. Joel on the weapons. And our good Marcus will be on our engines once more. And we can power down the med bay, power up the shields again for combat. Which hopefully we will not encounter because dealing with these nebula is pretty rough. And with seven fuel, we have to kind of just keep jumping to the exit, uh, which we have reached. So let's do it. Again, we're going to enter into the next sector with only five fuel, which, as we've seen, is pretty bad. Oh, God. Slug Nebula or Mant... We're going to go Mantis. I, as much as I don't like to do that, Mantis homeworlds are pretty rough, but uh, Slug Nebula is almost rougher. So let's keep going here. Oh, good. Good asteroids. Good. Oh, and they have... Oh. Oh, fun. Uh... Let's see. The burst laser? No, we're gonna, we're gonna power up the Artemis here. Because, uh... They have two missile systems, by the way. This one is a teleporter bomb, like the small bomb that we saw earlier, and this is a missile which they just fired at us. Uh, so let's get the Artemis firing at their shields. Let's get the burst laser firing at their shields as well. Oh, thank god that missed. Both of them missed. Oh, that's gonna cause a fire. Okay, so that's actually a firebomb, which is very bad. It's good when you have it. Uh, it's actually pretty awesome to play with. Okay, luckily we took their shields down. Where's that going? Okay, not a big deal. Okay, we can close that up. Get another Artemis shot going. Their shit missed, which is actually good. So we can power up the whole laser while they're down. Oh boy. Let's suffocate this fire. And once we're back up here, we're going to definitely want to hit their weapon system. Because if we don't, then they could... Oh god, that's going to do a lot. Okay, it missed. That is really lucky, actually. Now let's get Marcus repairing the oxygen supply. Hopefully he can do that reasonably quickly. And actually, let's get... Uh, what's his face in there as well? Maxwell. We're getting really lucky that they're missing a lot of their shots, to be honest with you. Yeah, we took him out. Fantastic. Yeah, we got a lot of tr fucking scrap from that. Uh, so that's good. We didn't get any fuel, though, so again, we are down to three fuel. And this could be the end very soon. Oh, good. Okay, well, let's let's again do our good old patented try to suffocate them strategy. Get these guys going in here. We'll open up all the doors. Open the doors to the outside world. Close these ones. So that we can keep the oxygen moving. And try to suffocate them out. Hopefully they don't... Yeah. Luckily they did not try to... Uh, oh, that's bad. We have sadly forced an encounter over here. So let's get Marcus going. Because Marcus will be an effective warrior here. And actually we could just... Yeah, we could bum rush him. We get these two guys in here. We could get them in the oxygen rich room and close everything. And now, oh, I said close everything. Now everything should be returning to normal oxygen wise. Uh, oh, we have not even charged our med bay, so if anybody's taking damage. Okay, we're good. Maxwell, go ahead there. Steven, you are our pilot. You should know this already. You should be getting there. Joel, our weapons man. And, uh, Nickel on the shields. Fantastic! Let's keep jumping here. Jumping to the exit. I don't know what I'm hoping for here. 
Whoa, you detect and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's Mantis. Let's pry it open. A man bursts out of life pod, screaming and claws his way into a corner. A rare survivor of Mantis captivity. Once calm, the survivor opens to join your crew. Awesome. A tray you. Well, somebody likes a band that is death metal oriented. Um, and we're going to get him over here as an extra repairman for the shields. And then... And then this looks like the end here, my friends. Unless, of course, this is a trade. Okay, they gave us fuel. System immediately discover a pirate ship. No life forms. We salvage some fuel. That is fantastic. Because if they didn't, then that would have been the end of the run. So let's go to the rock controlled sector. I mean, it's still pretty close to the end of the run here. Uh, because of all this no fuel nonsense. Hmm. We gotta jump straight to the exit, so the quickest way is that way. Let's do it! Oh, good! Good times! Okay, so we have one of these deals here. Hmm. What do I want to deal with first? I want to. You know what? I don't want to take damage here. Besides them, so we're gonna we're gonna deal with their weapon system first. I don't know if that's the best idea. It was the best of ideas. It was the worst of ideas. Okay, weapons are almost down. That's an issue. Definitely don't want to deal with fire already. Okay, we can get Artemis firing at their shields. Okay, that's not a huge issue. Let's get him working there. Good. Things are looking good. We are going to have to fire another Artemis shot. They're on fire, uh, which is good. Okay, we can power down the Artemis and power up the whole laser. Get that fire in there. Uh, med bay's down, so let's get a Treyu putting out that fire. Oops, Daisy, we gotta close these doors. Oh boy, this is getting hectic here. Okay, weapons are definitely down. Hull laser should take them out. Oh no, it didn't, because their shields are up. So let's get the burst laser firing at these shields. Oh god, that's kind of crappy. Okay, shields are relatively down. The whole laser's not going to do much. Hmm. We're going to have to deal with this solar flare, I think. We're just going to have to eat it. Yeah. Well, I don't want to eat the solar flare. Um, I would prefer to... Oh, cool. Uh, Joel just powered up his... Uh, he just leveled up, so... You see, he leveled up uh, the first level of weapons, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see what we got. 58 scrap. Wow, we're getting a lot of scrap for being in this rock sector. Which is cool. But we are still going to have to keep jumping towards this exit. Oh, good. Oh, they have four shields. Fun! Uh, Artemis? Hmm. We're going to have to get the Artemis firing at their shields. Because otherwise, uh, we're not going to be able to hit them at all. Okay, here we go. Uh, they got our shields too. Atreyu, we need you in here! Shit, weapons are down. Only one energy bar of the weapons are down though. We're almost out of missiles too now. Okay, shields are down. Power up the whole laser. Fire it at the empty section. Let's get the burst laser firing. Oh, god damn it. The whole laser's down, too. Uh, we don't have enough power. Okay, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him out of here just in case that missile. Yes, it is, in fact, going for our weapons bay. Which is a bit of a. which is a big issue, actually. So let's heal them up. And get these guys in there. Put out this fire. Shit. We're gonna have to jump. Oh, and we gotta get to a distress signal. Farts. I hope this isn't like a battle, because if it is, go down to the service to investigate. Find a man. He's a madman. 
His mental state is questionable. Well, let's bring him back to the ship and hopes for. Oh, good! Bringing him back in space terrifies him. He goes mad and nearly blows a hole in the side of your ship with a makeshift explosive in an attempt to escape this metal prison. He dies in the explosion. Well, was that any fun for you? You son of a bitch, you. Okay, we're gonna have to get these guys out of here. And we're gonna have to suffocate this flame because otherwise... Shit is gonna get serious, seriously fast. Um... Okay, we could get you out of here. We could get you out of here. Let's get them all in here. It should suffocate the flame relatively quickly. Indeed it did. Okay. We are near death. Is there a shop? No, there isn't. Well, this may be the final voyage of the USS Poopin' Butts. But it was a good run. It really was. They enjoyed themselves. Uh... Let's get Nikolon shields. They all know their fate. They all know the dangers. They all knew the dangers. When uh, when they signed up for this mission, they knew it would be rough. What can we do? Can we upgrade our shields? No, there's no way. Uh, we can upgrade our weapons so that if we dig to take damage, we're not going to lose weapons at all. Which I guess I may do, considering that there's no freaking gosh darn stores anywhere. Yeah, we're doing it. We're upgrading our weapons one bar. Here's the reason. When our weapons go down, it's only going to take down one of these, so we're not going to encounter another situation like that. Hopefully, at least. Uh, and we're down to one sh- Oh, God. Yep, here's the end. A rock assault ship. Your shields are being taxed as they Deflect the debris from an asteroid field. As you weave your way between the rocks, you up upon a rock, rock pirate stronghold. You register teleport signatures and hear shouts aboard the ship. Okay, well. Oh, good, and they have, uh. That's fun. Well. We're gonna have to deal with this here. So let's get him in here. Let's get him in here. Let's get him in here. Let's get you up in this piece. Uh, I don't know where you were going, but you're going over here now. And let's open up all those doors. Suffocate the rock men. Oh, let's definitely close the doors here so that we don't suffocate ourselves. Because that would be shitty. And hopefully the rock men try to burst down. Yes, indeed they did. Oh, good! More rock men! Okay, we can get the Artemis firing. I don't even know what to fire at. Let's fire at their O2, man. This is our last chance to make a dent. Oh, there goes the sensors. There goes the O2. The final voyage of the USS Poopin' Butts. There we go. Score 1585. Let's check our stats here. We didn't really get any great upgrades here. Poopin' farts, though. Oh, I was saying poopin' butts. It's actually the poopin' farts. God, I should have known that. That's disrespectful to the crew. Um, so apparently I already did better. Oh, no, that was on the easy mode. On normal mode, I have done better already, though. I got to Sector 8. I'm only in Sector 7 here. Interesting. All right, well, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I had fun. Uh, let me know, you know, support as to what you guys want to see more what ships you kind of want to see I mean I, I'm I'm definitely gonna start trying to unlock ships and whatnot because that's how you play the game and uh, you know stuff like that in the future um, uh, let me know how uh, the length of the videos is important because I am extremely self-conscious about that I am a bit I think this one's fine but uh, I am a bit insecure about how long these videos can be so I like if it gets to like an hour or so, then I'm probably gonna just gonna cut it in between and make it into two parts. As far as I can tell, I mean I'm not sure yet. We're, we're gonna have to figure it out. But anyway, hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully a lot of you uh, Isaac guys have converted over and uh, and like this stuff too because I'm enjoying the hell out of this and I love Isaac as well. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys liked it. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peacefuls.